this is Kevin also known as AWOL. And today we're working with pattern 2532 and friendshipbracelets.net. This is the one where I said it looked like they were making part of a dovetail, but then kind of gave it like a 3D effect. But it turns out with the knots and stuff, that's really kind of not what it looks like. Uh, especially once we doubled it because we created a whole extra diamond in there. And I don't know, the pattern has kind of grown on me a bit. I really kind of like how this one turns out. Um, it, you'll see from the beginning, like I wasn't really kind of sure how to kind of get it started. But once I got it going, um, it was pretty easy to segment and make it kind of work out for me. So I really do like how it turns out. Um, it's a little bit quirky and I do definitely think that it was fun that we flipped it in the center as opposed to just continuing the same pattern. Um, oh. Okay, you don't have to do it. If you're the kind of person who likes to figure out how it's going and just keep going and doing that and you're happy with that, great. For me, it's like the, the pattern from, from yesterday, that was just doing the same thing all the way from beginning to end. And I would much rather do this. It's like, it's almost like making two different bracelets in the same amount of time. And so it doesn't feel so monotonous to me. And that's, that's kind of my take on it. It doesn't have to be your take. I'm not trying to give you this impression that that's the way it has to be. But for me, just changing it up and seeing what happens differently, um, it just makes it a little bit more interesting for me. Plus, it made it for a really interesting center, which you'll see it in the whole big reveal. I realized that me holding it up and being like, see, look, it, it's, you don't get to see it that well. Um, even in 4K, you have this up on a TV, it's the reveal at the end of the video that really shows off what I made. Um, but that said, it does have these like W's right in the pattern, which you can't, you can't get away from. It's not, there's no real easy segmenting trick for that. Um, so it's when it goes into the blue part of the pattern that it becomes a bit easier. And that's okay. It was still, it was fun to make. Um, this, I didn't do this during a live stream. This was, uh, this kind of came later on in the day. Um, I did have the Discord open in case anybody wanted to stop in, ask questions and stuff, which I don't probably do that as much as I would like to, but um, yeah, I try. I do try to make that a thing for you guys in case anybody has a question. You um, Typically, you know, if you're curious what the most common stuff is, the typical thing is they want to make a bag and that bag has a specific something to it. They either want to flap over it or an enclosure or a buttonhole in it or whatever it is there. It's, it's something to do with making a bag and could I help them figure out how to draw it up? And I'm more than happy to try to help. I, you know, I do what I can. I'm only one person. If this channel ever really blows up huge, um, I will have a real hard time with, you know, a hundred requests, but right now it's not so bad. And um, so if you're really thinking about getting into doing some kind of big project or something, probably sooner than later, just as a thought, I mean, I don't know. I don't know how, what the future holds for me. I do know that the channel has, has been steadily growing and I'm having a lot of fun doing it and i would certainly hope that the future still leaves room for me to to chat with you guys and to say hey you know sure help you design up something um but who's to say i don't know i a lot of things are outside of my control like the fact that i now have to wear glasses while i'm working on patterns or reading anything so yeah like who knows maybe there might come a day where uh I'm limited in what I can do. And uh, 
I have to accept that fate. You know, I'm, I'm not a, as young of a man anymore. I've been doing bracelets for so long now. So, um, yeah, I, but I sincerely, I do want to help everybody. And I guess I kind of should segue right into who deserves the most thanks. And that is my Patreon supporters and my YouTube members who actually make all of this stuff possible. Um, yeah, I, I really, I, I couldn't do it without their support. Um, they helped me to get all of the equipment and everything else to do it. So thank you guys so much for that. Um, like I said, I, I just, I can't even thank those guys enough. And, you know, hey, if you guys become a member, you get to watch behind the scenes stuff, and, you know, ask me questions while I'm actually doing stuff in real time. So there you go. Um, what else can I tell you about this? The pattern, it's interesting. Obviously you use a bit more blue than um, you do say like the dark green and you use more dark green than the light green. But that said, nothing got used so much that I was ever concerned about like would I have strings left for a tail. It really balances out fairly well. It's there, but it's kind of obvious like the, the light green only has a single dot where the, the dark green has the, the little bit bigger row above it. But then it goes into having a whole big W of dark and a whole big W of the light. So, I mean, it's, it's not that big of a difference. It does change up. Um, I did work with having the, the pattern out in front of me while I was working, not because it was so incredibly difficult or, you know, like that, but just to help me from making mistakes and kind of look at it and see perspectively what would make the most sense for getting nice long rows and segmenting it to like the best of my abilities. Um, so that was kind of cool. And of course, when I change up in the middle, you know, kind of knowing where that is, because it'd be really easy to, to lose track of what I'm doing. But uh, other than that, it was not overly difficult. Um, yeah, I, I it's, it's got a minimal number of zigzag knots in it. Mostly that's because of doing the, the zigzag thing in the center. Um, but, you know, so technically I think this is, this is close to being a, an easy bracelet, to be honest. So, you know, if you're feeling kind of gutsy, give it a shot, you know? Um, I, you know, it, if you have enough experience, it shouldn't be that, that big of a deal. Honestly, this is, this is a relatively, for the most part, a very easy bracelet. Um, and I do kind of think it's kind of interesting how, like, like say yesterday's bracelet, right? Adding one row changed up the whole pattern immensely because of how, you know, the center boxes became bigger. This one, it just adds an, another diamond that you wouldn't kind of expect to have been there. So it really... It doesn't seem like it changed anything. It just kind of added to the whole overall experience, which I think is wonderful. I think it's really cool. Here's the zigzag knots, right? So this is the center of it. Um, and so like the blue will come out to the edge and then bounce right back. But that's really kind of the only spot you have to worry about those. And being so few of them, I, I kind of feel like you're probably not going to have too much trouble with the bracelet getting all weirded out or anything. Provided, again, I, there are people who can mess up a candy stripe, so I, I can't guarantee that you will do this without error. That said, it is easier, and if you find this to be difficult, perhaps practice some more with some chevrons, or maybe make like two chevrons next to each other, you know, and then flip it, because that's a kind of a lot of what goes into this. All right, but... Um, yeah, again, I like the pattern. I think it's kind of fun. Um, and I liked how it has this thing in, in the middle of it. And it kind of makes it interesting. Like when you hold the bracelet, when you look at it from a distance, um, it made 
the center really, really obvious. And it, it makes it look like there's like three blocks on either side of this center zigzag. It's almost, I wanna say it's almost like an hourglass, but it's not, right? Cause an hourglass would just have two things. Um, but yeah, it, it's just me. I guess it's kind of like a, the Green Lantern logo, kind of, but different. I don't know. I don't. I don't know what to describe it as, but it's it's really distinct, and it's distinct how the blue makes up these these bigger chunks in the bracelet itself with the W stuff in between it. So that's kind of fun. Um. Yeah. And I. I don't know what I'm working on next. I don't remember. I know that I put some stuff aside to work on for another doubling pattern, but I don't remember anything about it. Otherwise, I'd tell you about that. Oh, there was a break in the making of this. Again, I hit the record button and it didn't register. And I lost a big chunk. Well, kind of a big chunk out of it. Um, I really, I don't know how I'm making that mistake. It's, I, I'm like, I'm so eager just to hit the record and get to making the stuff so there's not a big gap. But then I get to doing the stuff and I don't realize that it's not recording. So yeah, sorry about that. But you can see I didn't miss that much. There's a chunk, but not too bad. Um, what else can I tell you? Oh, um, the colors aren't exactly the same as the pattern was, but and I don't know if that made it better or worse. But if you try it in other colors, I'd be curious to see what it looks like because I'll probably be moving on to making other things and I won't get to see it. So if you make this in another color, please share it with me over on Discord. And um, the link is in the description. Just put it in like the, the finished works, I guess, is where it goes. And then, uh, yeah. I'm pretty sure I'd recognize the pattern. I, honestly, you don't have to like tell me what the pattern number was or what what video it came from. I pretty much I'm not. <laughs> I don't make so many things that I can't like look at it and, and know what it is. I think. I guess if you're watching this way out in the future, and I did this like years ago. Maybe you would have to remind me. I don't. I don't know. I don't think so. I feel like I know most of my patterns. I know most of the stuff. When people ask about making a bag in a certain way, I kind of intuitively know where to go look to find an example of something that I did like that. So um, hopefully I'm like that with the patterns. I don't know. Now it got me kind of wondering what it's going to be like for my future. Ah. Not, not the esoteric type of conversation I was expecting to have with myself today. Crazy. Anyway. Um, yeah, if you guys have ideas for patterns you want me to try or work from a photo or any of the other kind of stuff, um, let me know down in the comments. You know, got a pattern number, got a something. I guess if you have a, like a photo that you want me to try to work from, I guess that would have to be a Discord thing because I don't think you can do it on YouTube. Um, but yeah, you could do that in, in Discord. I think... Is this the end of it? Where... I think this might be the end of it, guys. Thank you guys for hanging out with me, by the way. I really do appreciate that. Like, if you're this far into the video, you know, you've done a great help to me because it tells YouTube that it's worth watching it to the end. So that's awesome. Thank you. Um, yeah, the big reveal is coming here really, really soon. So thanks for watching. And as always, don't get your strings in a bunch. <laughs>